The Cayman Islands is one of the most beautiful holiday destinations in the world, but its shopping is almost exclusively for the rich and famous. As I've said in previous videos, this is great because you can stop spending your money on silly things, but it's not so great when you need some reasonably priced clothes and don't want to be wearing the same thing as your neighbor for the next four years. We have great grocery and home stores like A.L. Thompson, Kirk Market, and Costulas. But when it comes to shopping for clothes, gadgets, or other non-essentials, your options are really limited. The island is small after all. Kamana Bay is one of the few places that actually has clothing stores, but these places are hardly cheap and I never see anybody in them, never mind buying anything from them. If you ask me, this is highly suspicious behavior. The rent must be crazy expensive here. How do these places survive? Now Cayman does have some touristy stores on the waterfront, like jewelry stores and other touristy things that can be peddled to cruise ship passengers. We have shops, but the pricing and variety are the things that are going to leave you yearning for more. It's for this reason that those who aren't willing to pay for ridiculous shipping head to Miami, not just for a break, but to do some shopping. Dolphin Mall is the one I visited recently. It's pretty well known in Cayman. It's close to the Miami airport, it's full of factory stores, and it's named after dolphins, so who wouldn't want to shop there? It is a real life mall. I haven't been in the mall for like an entire year now. The bottom line is, if you're thinking about moving to Cayman, you're going to have to give up your shopping addiction, give up half your salary to careers, or make lots of shopping trips off island. Hit that like button if you're a shopaholic, browse around my channel, and when you're done window shopping, if you like what you see, and you're ready to commit to this relationship, hit subscribe, ring that bell, and tell your friends. I'll see you next week.